This uh, tutorial will uh, cover solving the traveling salesman problem with uh, Java 8 and simulated annealing. I will uh, start by doing a demo of the pre-built application and uh, second I will write, explain and run this application using an Eclipse IDE. Now the application will find and display the shortest route and the Haversine formula will be used to calculate distances between cities and each city will be identified by its uh, latitude and uh, longitude coordinates. This is the pre-built application so if I go ahead and uh, run it we ended up with uh, this distance as the shortest uh, distance and with this uh, route as the shortest route so we started with this route and it had this uh, distance and uh, we check the adjacent route which is this one and it has a shorter distance so we proceed since we have a shorter adjacent route so now we are here and we check uh, the adjacent route and uh, it has a longer distance but uh, we still proceed since uh, the random number is uh, smaller or equal than the probability function this is the probability function so we have this uh, probability function here and we have this uh, random number and it is smaller or equal than this so we proceed so now we are uh, here and let me quickly show we're using this uh, probability function and for the temperature uh, the new temperature is equal to the old temperature times uh, 1 minus the rate of cooling and the rate of cooling we are using is this uh, small number so now we are uh, here and we check the adjacent route and it's, it has a longer distance so uh, we check uh, to see if the random number is uh, smaller or equal to the probability function and it is not so the random number is uh, bigger than the probability function this is, this is the random number it's bigger than this so we uh, stay so here we still have the same route and we do the same thing and we still uh, stay here so now we are here and we proceed since this is a shorter adjacent route so uh, now we are uh, here and uh, we proceed again since we have also this one as a shorter adjacent route so now we are uh, here and even though this is a longer distance for the adjacent route we still uh, proceed since the random number is smaller or equal than the probability function this is smaller than this one so now we are here and uh, we keep doing that and the temperature keeps slowly decreasing until we get to this uh, shorter distance this is the shortest one we found I'll uh, start by creating a new project and uh, this will be running on uh, Java 8 and uh, here I will have a simulated annealing class where the simulated annealing logic will be and it's going to be in uh, this package
and uh, I will have an application uh, driver class with a main method and a uh, city class and uh, finally a uh, route class Now uh, going to the city class, we'll uh, start by defining those uh, three constants, the Earth equatorial radius and uh, converting degrees to radians and uh, converting kilometers to miles. And uh, the city will have a longitude, a latitude and a name and those will be initialized in the constructor and uh, get methods for each one of them and a uh, to string method that uh, returns the name of uh, the city and a uh, measure distance uh, method that uh, uses the Haversine formula to measure the distance from the path in city to uh, this city next I'll uh, go to the route class and here we'll have an array list of uh, cities on this uh, route and a uh, get method that uh, returns those uh, cities and uh, two constructors One of them takes in an array list of uh, cities and use it to populate this array list of uh, cities and uh, then shuffle them and uh, another one instantiates this uh, route instance from a pre-existing uh, route instance and uh, I will have a two-string method that returns the cities on this uh, route and a uh, get total distance method that uh, calculates the distance between uh, city 1 and uh, city 2 and then city 2 and uh, city 3 etc and then uh, sum them up and add the distance between uh, the last city and the uh, uh, originating uh, city and uh, for convenience I'll have another method get total uh, string distance that uh, makes a call to the get total distance and uh, returns a formatted uh, string uh, distance Now uh, going to the simulated annealing class we'll have those uh, three constants the rate of uh, cooling it's gonna be this uh, small number and the initial temperature I'm gonna set it to a high number and the minimum temperature is gonna be this 0 0.99 and uh, here we will have uh, this uh, private method obtain adjacent route that would uh, return an adjacent route by switching the order of uh, two cities in the passed in route and uh, before finishing up the code here let me go to the driver class and uh, I will have this uh, array list of uh, cities
and in uh, main I'll uh, start by instantiating a driver instance and uh, then instantiating a uh, route instance by passing it the uh, initial city from here now uh, given that the size of this uh, array list can uh, vary if we add or uh, remove cities I'll have this uh, method that can handle that uh, variation in uh, size while uh, printing the heading it's a static method and I will uh, call it from here and I need uh, a method that uh, just prints out this uh, information about the probability function and uh, new temperature and the rate of cooling and I will be calling it uh, from here but uh, before doing that I need to uh, use the simulated uh, annealing class where I will have uh, the logic for uh, finding the shortest route so I'll instantiate a simulated annealing instance and have a method called uh, find route where I would uh, pass it the initial temperature that we define here to be uh, this and I will pass it uh, this route, this initial route and it does the work of uh, finding the shortest route so let's go here and uh, define that method and for now let's return null So uh, finding the shortest route here will happen while uh, the temperature is uh, bigger than the minimum temperature and we will decrease that uh, temperature with uh, this formula so temperature is uh, the temperature times 1 minus the rate of uh, cooling and uh, let me define two routes here uh, the shortest route that will be based on the current route in no instance but based on this and uh, an adjacent route and uh, we will be returning that uh, shortest route after obtaining it in the while loop so uh, let me here print out the current route and uh, the current route uh, total string distance and uh, the temperature and uh, let's obtain the adjacent route for this uh, current route Uh, let's keep track of the shortest route so if uh, current route dot get total distance is uh, smaller than the shortest route dot get uh, total distance then the shortest route is going to be the current route and uh, before proceeding here I need to uh, define this uh, method accept route that takes in the current distance and the adjacent distance and the temperature and uh, returns a boolean let's set it initially to uh, false and uh, let me define here this uh, acceptance probability I'll set it initially to uh, 1 and uh, in case the adjacent distance is uh, bigger or equal to the current distance 
then uh, this will be the acceptance uh, probability. And uh, let me define a string, a decision, and a boolean shorter distance and set it initially to uh, true. And I will uh, set it to uh, false here in this case. And I will have uh, this uh, random number. And if acceptance probability is bigger or equal to the random uh, number, then the accept route uh, flag is uh, true. And uh, I will also add uh, this uh, logic so here in this if else statements I'm determining what to have in the decision and I'm uh, using decision here in the print line statement so essentially what we are uh, saying here is that if the adjacent route uh, distance is uh, less than the current route distance then replace the current route with the adjacent route otherwise if the adjacent route distance is greater than or equal to the current route distance then replace the current route with the adjacent route with a probability of uh, this and uh, now going back uh, here I will uh, make uh, use of this uh, method so accept the adjacent route as the current route if the accept route method returns uh, true so this should uh, do it now going back to the driver class let's uh, try to run this application so we started with uh, this route having uh, this distance and uh, the random number is smaller or equal to the probability function so we uh, proceed and the adjacent route is uh, uh, bigger than the current route but we still proceeded because of this so now we are uh, here and uh, we have uh, this is a shorter distance than uh, this so we have a shorter adjacent route so we proceed so we are here now and uh, also this is a shorter adjacent distance so we also proceed here and uh, now we are here and uh, the random number is uh, bigger to the probability function so we uh, stay so this is the same and here we uh, proceed since uh, the adjacent route is uh, shorter so we are here now 
and etc. So we end up with this as the shortest uh, route. And this was the probability function we used and the temperature decreasing function and this is the rate of cooling.